This video will show you how to review, comment on, and grade a student's Turnitin assignment paper. Log in to Moodle and open the course you want to edit. In the Activities menu on the right, click Turnitin Assignments. From the list of Turnitin assignments showing, click the name of the one you want to review and grade. In the Turnitin Submission inbox that comes up, you will see a few settings at the top which were made when the assignment was set up. If you wish to change any of these settings from this screen, use the Edit Pencil icons to change them. Scroll down to see any assignment entries submitted and click on either the Paper's Submission Title or the Grade Pencil icon for a student's paper. Either action will open a Turnitin window showing the submitted paper. The Turnitin window will show the student's paper along with some controls you can use while grading this and other papers. At the top you will see the student's name, the field to enter a grade, and some controls. Left and right arrows for viewing other students' submissions a pull-down which allows you to select any other papers to review, and a helpful help icon, the question mark here, to open Turnitin's user documentation. Icons at the right margin have controls for marking and feedback. The instructor feedback layer has these blue icons. Here are the quick mark icons. Highlight a word or phrase in the paper with your mouse, then select or create a quick mark comment to apply near that selection. Here's the feedback summary. Here you can enter a text comment you wish to make to give the student overall feedback for this paper. This is the rubric form section. These can be set up using the gear icon on the right if a rubric is desired. The next layer is the similarity layer. It has red icons. The match overview section shows potential plagiarism matches in the paper. Next is the All Sources section. This shows sources of all matches with controls to use if you wish to exclude some sources from the plagiarism check. Next is Filters and Settings. This has various similarity filters that you can adjust. And here's the Excluded Sources section. This shows which sources you have excluded from all sources. It also allows you to unexclude any that you want to. When you have finished reviewing, marking, and grading the paper, click the arrows at the top or use the pull-down list to view the next paper. But if you entered the grade last, be sure to click onto another field so that the grade gets submitted to Turnitin. When done, simply close the Turnitin window on your browser. You should now be back at your course's Turnitin submission inbox where you will see the graded papers. Grades should appear momentarily once the Turnitin analysis is done. Another good source of help on Turnitin can be reached by going to help.turnitin.com. This provides excellent assistance for managing Turnitin assignments. That's how to grade a Turnitin assignment. Thank you.